A for loop is a loop where we know exactly how many times it's going to run through it. So in this example, I'm going to deal around a poker. And with poker, you each get five cards. So it doesn't matter how many players, I'm going to deal out cards five times. So, for example, I'm going to assume there's three players. So I'm going to start my loop, and I'm going to start with zero. Um, a lot of loops start with zero because the arrays start with zero. And that makes the counting a little bit different. So if I want to go five times, I'm going to say i equals zero. And then the next part, the conditional check, I'm going to say i is less than five. And you might say, well, five, why did I say less than five? Well, we start counting with zero, so zero, one, two, three, four. <clears throat> Once we reach five, um, we have uh, gone over five cards because we count that zero, so it counts as part of it. So let's go ahead and set up our for loop. We have for int i equals zero is less than 5, and then we're going to increment it one time each time around, so i plus plus. So i equals 0, which is less than 5, so I'm going to deal around the cards. Okay, we increment i, so i becomes 1, that's less than 5, we okay, deal another round of cards. i increments, so it becomes 2, so I'm going to deal another round of cards. Increments again, it's 3. Increments again, becomes 4. Increments again, it becomes 5. Now with 5, um, 5 is not less than 5, so our for loop is done. And if we check our uh, math, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards. So even though we've done 3 operations in this for loop, all those operations together were done five times. So the main thing to take away from this is that a for loop is a loop you can use to repeatedly to repeatedly uh, do things, but you got to know exactly how many times you want to run it in advance.